12 teraflops. That's rendering entire game worlds, physics simulations, ray tracing, all at once. And you can barely hear it working. That silence isn't luck, it's obsession. Every curve, every vent, every millimeter designed around one goal, invisible power. But here's the thing most people miss. The Xbox Series X isn't a gaming console first. It's a chimney that happens to play games. And building that chimney? That's where the story gets interesting. Look at any console from the last 20 years. They're all lying down, horizontal slabs. Microsoft said, no, we're going vertical. And it wasn't about looking different. It was physics. Heat rises. Always has, always will. So why fight it? They built a tower where hot air does exactly what it wants to do anyway. Go up. Power supply at the bottom, motherboard in the middle, processor sitting right under the exhaust path. The whole case becomes a chimney. Cool air enters at the base, warms as it passes the components, exits through the top. No dead spots, no turbulence. Those curves on the outside? They're not styling, they're airflow guides. The box is the cooling system. Every Xbox starts here, a single piece of silicon about the size of your thumbnail Custom built by AMD, designed exclusively for Microsoft. Packed inside, eight CPU cores running Zen 2 architecture. 52 compute units on RDNA 2. Memory controllers, audio processors, decompression engines. All of it etched onto seven nanometer circuitry. Later batches went even smaller, six nanometers, running cooler, pulling less power. But here's what's fascinating. Not every chip is born equal. Each one gets tested right here, still on the wafer. Voltage, check clock speeds, check thermal performance, checks the ones that don't hit the mark. They never leave this room. Out of every thousand chips, roughly 50 to 80 get rejected before they ever see a console. Microsoft's tolerance window is that tight. Twelve teraflops means heat. A lot of it. Microsoft's first move? A vapor chamber, basically a sealed metal plate with liquid inside that evaporates and spreads the heat across the entire surface. Liquid heats up right over the processor, turns to vapor, spreads out, condenses on the cooler edges and cycles back. It's elegant. It works. But Microsoft kept pushing. Later versions swapped parts of the vapor chamber for copper heat pipes these cylindrical channels that move heat even faster. The console idles cooler now, responds quicker when the GPU suddenly kicks into high gear. Above all this sits the heat sink, rows of aluminum fins with air flowing between them, and up top, the fan. But here's what matters. Wait, stop, look at this number. 38 decibels at full load. That's quieter than your refrigerator humming in the kitchen. Your fridge, running 24-7, is louder than this 12 teraflop machine pushing maximum performance. That curved plastic shroud around the fan? It shapes the exhaust, keeps the air smooth, reduces noise. Every angle tested in simulations until turbulence disappeared. The goal was never just keep it cool. It was keep it cool without making a sound. This is where it all comes together. The line runs constantly, robots moving in perfect rhythm, memory goes in, SSD locks down, power connectors snap into place. Then the cooling system, heat sink, vapor chamber, or heat pipes, fan assembly, drops onto the processor. Thermal paste already applied, no gaps, no air pockets, perfect contact, one console every 90 seconds. Do the math. That's 960 units in a single day from one line. Multiply that across multiple facilities and you're looking at millions of consoles per year. And people are watching. Between the robots, inspectors check what machines can't feel. The click of a connector locking in, the disk drive sliding smooth, the top panel fitting flush. Speed matters here, but accuracy matters more. These robots are working in fractions of a millimeter. 
Heat sink sits crooked. Thermal test fails. Connector not fully seated. Electrical test fails. This room has no echo, no background hum, nothing. Just the console and microphones listening to every sound it makes. Engineers aren't just measuring volume, they're hunting frequencies. High-pitched whine? Unacceptable. Low hum that vibrates through a shelf? Unacceptable. Even the disk drive spinning up gets scrutinized. They push it hard. GPU maxed out, storage working at full speed, disk spinning, Everything the console can do, it's doing right now. And they're recording every frequency it produces. Something sounds wrong? The fan curve gets adjusted. Mounting gets reinforced. Then they test again. And again. It passes when it's silent. Not quiet, silent. Remember those 12 teraflops we started with? That massive GPU power? It's all in here. Running. Computing. Rendering worlds at 4K, 60 frames per second, sometimes 120. And you don't hear it. You don't feel heat pouring out. You don't think about the vapor chamber working, the fan spinning, the air flowing through that vertical chimney. The hardware disappears. What's left is just the game. The world on screen. The moment when you forget there's even a machine under your TV. That forgetting? That's the entire point. Microsoft spent three years engineering a console you're supposed to forget exists. And in that silence, they built something rare. Technology that disappears precisely because it works so well.